irate commuter here. Just wanted to say hi. And there was a major segment last night, major pipe bomb, if that's what you want to call it, at Monday Night Raw. Now, we all, I'm not talking about Randy Orton turning face. We all knew that was coming. It was pretty obvious. Uh, the show kind of sucked overall. Uh, but the pipe bomb by Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. That was cool. Now, I know that uh, WWE and Brock haven't been getting along the last few weeks. Now, we're less than a month away from WrestleMania. Brock, the way Heyman was talking, Brock Lesnar might destroy Roman Reigns. Well, let's not think about wrestling as predetermined, out as having predetermined outcomes, because, you know, I mean, come on. I've been watching wrestling 25 years. I know that. But, there have been some instances where, you know, people have gotten into that ring and have really hated one another. I think Brock Lesnar wants to make a point and back in 2002, I think it was SummerSlam Rock, Brock Lesnar, you know, it's just like Heyman said, Lesnar sent The Rock to Hollywood. You know, fast forward 13 years, he might send Roman Reigns to the hospital. He annihilated The Undertaker last year in an embarrassing bout for The Taker. I don't know why he ever agreed to that match. It was, he, although I will say it was a better match than uh, Lesnar Cena at SummerSlam this year, or at 2014 SummerSlam. So that pipe bomb that Heyman left was major. It sounded real. They muted him, I think, twice. Maybe it was three times, but I think it was twice. Then they let him continue. I I've saw when uh, CM Punk got muted. They quit and they went straight to commercial. This, they muted him, but then they let him continue. To me, that that's the key. That's the evidence. I think this was all predetermined. I think this is all a show. I think the rivalry between Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar is real. I think all the anger there is real. But Vince McMahon is a genius. He knows that Lesnar's interested in UFC and maybe he wants to stir up something. I don't know. I think it's very interesting. However, I only question the, the, the pipe bomb because they let him continue. They didn't cut the commercial. They didn't do anything like that. So to me, it's, see, it's, there's that little air that I just don't trust it as being a real pipe bomb, like a CM Punk type pipe bomb. All right, well, I hope you guys find this informative. What are your theories? Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Have a great one.